like everyone's like five manning and then you just defend towers with march and and like you said about brewmaster how do you push into that how do you push into march the machine very difficult very difficult to deal with so they have this weird draft coming up from secret empire have another pick to go what do both teams need shadow fiend yules is pretty good against tinker though can't can't deny that that requiem oh that will that will destroy him if he uh, gets caught out with that team of our needs a little more catch for tinker um they still have one position left for their cores they could go like storm spirit or um bat rider would, wouldn't be bad bat rider uh, could actually be really good this game i think bat is a solid choice for them they play it very well they could also do resolution and storm he's a great storm player then send shadow fiend to the safe lane i'm not sure if that's the best choice because then you have brewmaster offlane which is you fine could, but you could storm safe lane yeah, that's true. You could storm safe lane, yeah. Or, I mean, maybe they... right, back to... that works too. That does yeah. work as well. Chronosphere. We'll see if Silence picking up the Faces Void this game. Not a hero we've seen too much of. We saw it yesterday, but still, interesting choice coming out from Team Empire. Their five heroes are done. What are Team Secret going to grab with their last pick? They have two supports. Probably they have the Furion in the off lane or safe lane, I guess. Tinker is playing mid. It's actually a really good pick because, um,. It's really good at uh, catching Tinker, catching Furion. Um, Enigma is okay against it, but it's still good to catch the Enigma. You can cancel Black Hole with the Chronosphere if you need to. Also, um, Ogre used to be good against Void because you could stun from outside the Chronosphere, but now it's going to be a lot harder with that range nerf on the Fire Blast. Range not not really great anymore for the Ogre Magic. The Magnus for S4 coming out from Team Secret. So the offlane Furion for Zai more than likely. Tinker played mid by RTZ. Uh, Enigma, Ogre Magi, dual support. S4 is Magnus. It's a treat to watch. He's going to have to make some big plays with his RP. Also, Empower, but, I mean, they don't really have a hero to Empower at this point. I guess you can Empower Nature's Prophet just to give him some extra damage, but no, like, Cleave coming out from, say, a PA or any other hero in the game. Kind of an interesting choice coming out here for Team Secret. They just wanted some more team fight And D-Push as well. It's, I think this is going to be like a really ratty game from Secret. They're just going to dodge fights, dodge the Panda, dodge the Void, and just kind of split the map and try and get ahead and then take fights with numbers advantage. Because they it can have like Tinker a, and Furion poured in whenever. It's a bit different than what they usually go for with like the SF and, and maybe getting S4 kind of a farming slash carry hero. And then they just they kind of fight early on in the game. And they have this really potent mid-game lineup. It's more, like you said, ratty. I think it's a really good word to describe it. I mean, that could be totally off. They might just take team fights left and right but i think um the panda and like a all will be really strong if they try to force early engagements in the laning phase who do you favor though who, when you look at these lanes who are you saying okay who's going to get more out of it do you think because secret have the enigma that they maybe get a bit better of a laning phase it just depends if um, empire is able to ward the jungle and how aggressive they can be with a and rubik um if they're able to it's like right now like tinker or Magnus is going to get farm in mid, and then the safe lane, if they aggro tri lane, isn't going to get that much, and then off lane should be 1v1, and Void should do pretty well there. They're smoked up, though. They're going to head to the enemy jungle. They'll send a train to scout. They don't see them because they are smoked up. They'll throw one ward up, so they're already putting priority on this jungle. We might see an engagement. Aloha Dance not going to go further. Resolution thought about rounding the corner, decided against it. Sentry ward going to counter this observer ward. Already 50 gold going the way of somebody. I'm not sure who got it. They're gonna kind of, they're gonna try to kill the tree and it'll die before yeah it goes down before they're able to get the gold for it and I don't think they go any further into the jungle here they saw the enemy side of secret they'll be happy with the two wards they've placed and they'll get the bottom batting rune spot as well yeah that was good um it was good to get the ward but uh, Enigma knows where the D ward is now which is I think it's still a fine trade. They do this so often. They prioritize getting Kuroki Boots of Speed, and then they have they have Enigma buy all the uh, the support items, which means that he only has enough money for either Clarities or Sentries. He can't get both. That's the big that's the big difference here for what Secret does. You want most Enigmas do yeah, in the most, game. I think um, Aoi, me, when me and Aoi play Enigma, we each buy one. Like one of us will buy one wards, so the other will buy the courier, so we can help with the support, but also like Enigma can get some items. And he's um, going to go Clarity, so he's not going to Sentry up. He's not going to D-Ward yet. But he's just going to leave these camps warded and blocked. So he has two camps to work with. Oh, God. Mid lane, Arteezy running in. Lasers up. They get the Ignite going. They chase him down. Kuroki helping out getting that first blood. That came out of nowhere. Resolution already off to a rough start at 46 seconds into the game. 
Yeah, that was that the boots first ogre paying off there. The resolution got super greedy on Shadowfiend and tried to stay and take um, take a wave or take a creep kill when the ogre was running right at him. Well, S4 blocked up bottom lane. In some trouble. Silent already going to work. His clap on cooldown. They have no telekinesis. Skewer away. He will survive barely. He's going to get salved up by Kuroki. He also has seven tangos. Very close. Almost two kills within the span of a minute here. He's back to packed. And like you said, top lane Zai versus Yoki. It's uh, off versus uh, the solo off lane. Or off lane versus the solo safe lane. But actually, always when a fly is pulling. So he will rotate into the lane eventually. So. Telkinesis, S4, gonna get caught again. Clap's already gone. I don't think they can kill him. He's got a shockwave. Oh, the Fade Bolt comes out just in time for Aloha Dante. He just killed level 2 not too long ago, and he gets the kill. I'm not sure why S4 turned around his shockwave. That might have been a mistake. Might have died either way, though. Yep, just sorry. underestimated the Fade Bolt damage, which is not that high at level 1, but yeah, he took, there's a lot of creeps um, that S4 was taking right clicks from. Resolution mid lane, six last hits, two denies. Doing okay, but Arteezy having the better early game here. Has a lot of base damage, going for two points in March already. We'll see if they stack up his jungle. I know that, I mean, they can't really do that because Puppy's got to have to use these two camps. So they have to stack up the jungle later, maybe when Puppy frees the jungle up by rotating for a gank or something. But I think he rotates out eventually when he gets boots. He can maybe get a soul ring, and then he goes for a tower push down in that bottom lane like you see so many enigmas do. And then Arteezy gets room. To get some of the jungle stacks here with his march of the machines. Yeah, he's not gonna have stacks to recover from because Puppy is definitely gonna be taking all of the farm there. He's only got those two camps, so he's kind of just stuck farming those, um, which is a bit unfortunate. He's probably gonna try and sentry here and get the stacks going for Arteezy as soon as possible. Down? Does he get anything? Nope. He, I think he just wants the the small camp. Yeah, they want to get for Ogre to pull, to pull, because Magnus isn't farming much in the safe lane. And if they can pull the creeps and then Magnus can see us under tower, it's going to help him out a lot. Yeah, that's true. He only has six last hits. Having a rough time. Silence up to 14, dominating this lane. And Aloha Dance is certainly helping out as well. The threat of Telekinesis and the threat of Collapse together. S4 kind of has to be a bit more passive than maybe he would like to be. Kuroki's going to walk in. He does have level 2 Ignite. He's level 1 Fire Blast as well. So again, let's see. If we look at the lanes right now, you have Enigma doing well in the jungle. Arteezy's doing fine in the mid lane. But top lane, Zai has got decent CS. However, 19 for Yoki. They're both the safe lane and the off lane going really well for Empire at this point in time. Yeah, this matchup definitely favors the Void. Um, he's just... Really tanky, he's got 5 armor, he can just kind of trade. And he also he can just jump on the fear on whatever he wants. Oh, yeah. He's gonna go for the time walk, as you oh, say. Get to the bash proc, the double bash proc! Oh my god! <laughs> it's not happy. I, fuck, I love the dot, man. I love it. It's my favorite thing now, in Dota. I didn't even know that was a thing, I haven't watched enough NEL apparently. It's a, oh, it's a China thing, man. When is we it? Play, when we play pubs in China, we nobody, the Chinese pubs wouldn't say anything. All they would do is drop like one dot or two dots. That's so mannered. I'm not sure it is. It's uh, S4 in trouble. TP in from Zai. They want to try to get this extra kill on Aloha Dance. S4 sticking around. Clap. No mana for it. Skewer into Silent. Meanwhile, they have no Sprout for six seconds. Kuroki's out of mana. Clap's going to go. He's going to try to turn on S4. Kuroki with the body blocks. Damn, that was sick. Now they're going to try to go for the Shockwave. It will hit the Sprouts up as well. The Miss Chance, Drunken Baller. Going to work, and now Silent about to get away. Kuroki's still diving deep. The last right click, it's not going to go. The stout shield procs for days. It's just not enough for secret. Telkinis is on his eyes. He in trouble now. Claps available, but he's too far away. And, I mean, Silent's at 60 HP. He needs to be careful. But S4 almost got body blocked. He'll have to be careful. No skewer. Sprouts up. Zai eats his way through. Body blocks with the sprout. Fade bolt the right click. Zai does end up falling. But what a hectic fight. What the hell happened there? That was weird. Jesus. Panda too tanky. Doubt shield. I think he didn't have treads beforehand. He does now. He, That's he crazy. dropped. He when, when he walked over to go for S four. He bought the treads. Oh while, my god! While he was fighting. The next level plays for for silent. Kuroki? Fire blast doesn't do that much damage. Zytp in. These stout shield procs this, or treads as well. He finally does go down, but it takes a lot of effort from Secret to get that kill. Zai gets back in, he gets his vengeance. Arteezy has a DD. He is chasing down Resolution under the tower. And Secret still are being aggressive. It's a crazy game so far. Puppy rotating mid, has Soul Ring. He's got Black Hole ready as well. He's level 6 again. 
somehow, like clockwork, this guy can just get the levels without any problems whatsoever in the jungle. Even with only two jungle camps, Puppy walks out. He's like, hey, what's up? I have 32 CS. Let's go. He's going to head bottom. They do have this warded, though, which is about to run out, but they will see him pick up this regen rune. And uh, S4, telekinesis. The clap already went. The right click. I think they fade bolted as well. He's out of mana. Skewer. His body skewers into the trees and then dies and collapses. Rest in peace, Magnus. Aloha Dance was trying to lift him while he was skewering, so that's why S4 kind of faked it at the beginning. And uh, he just lifted him at the perfect time where he wouldn't have enough time to get out. This bottom lane is going super well. Empire playing so damn well in this bottom lane. I mean, they've died a couple of times, but this is just a battling lane. Teams are going back and forth. and It's good. Magnus isn't farming very much. Um... So they're kind of doing dual lanes to abuse the fact that Secret has an Enigma in the jungle. And they're getting farm in every lane right now. Like, Shadowfiend seems to be, like, losing mid a little bit, but he's still, um, you know, he's getting his farm and getting his levels, which is all he really needs. And when we talk about having an Enigma in the jungle, usually we talk about how the team with that Enigma has a lead at this point in time. But it's actually Empire with a net worth lead. Although it doesn't really matter much. It's seven minutes in, there's a 1,000 net worth lead. It's still a lot. And like you said, it's because of these dual lanes and getting these kills and stopping the farm. But maybe there's a gank mid lane. Kuroki walking in, always want to fly, kind of juking him. He's back into the wave. Now the Ignite goes. He's going to get caught out. Midnight Falls, always want to fly, will die. TP in from Zai just to make sure they get the kill. Resolution on the backside sprouts up, but just kind of a harassing sprout, I guess. They'll they'll take down the tower. They're going to try to go for this early push at seven and a half minutes. They should probably get it. Raze clears the creep wave. Eidolon's not there. Puppy has them on cooldown for 12 seconds. Doesn't matter. They're going to take the tower regardless. Tier 1's gone. is getting closer and closer to his boots of travel. He's farming pretty, pretty well for not having any stacks in the jungle. No Ancients, no stacks, 1600 gold, and I think we talked about... He also has a soul Ring, too. Bottle soul Ring bots at, like, 9 minutes. That was the old timing, wasn't it? S4 gonna get chased down. Split's gonna go. Although I Dance does have Telekinesis. S4... Oh, that juke almost worked. That was almost sick. He's gonna get caught up with the Telekinesis, the right click, the boulder toss going as well, and... Brewmaster with his first split is successful. Spreads bottle now done in 500 gold and putting pressure on the tier 1 tower bottom. This underfire Magnus is going to be a problem. I'm not sure what he's going to be able to get done this game without a early Blink Tiger. He has three deaths. He has only 400 gold and regular boots of speed to work with. And 17 CS. He almost has the amount of CS that Zai in the offlane has. But Zai has been getting kills. That's the difference the, maker. The good news is, is that he doesn't need a ton of levels because Empower is not going to do that much for him in this game. They're trying to fight. I don't know if they can. Clap will go. S4 slowed up. He does have Skewer, but they just don't have the damage, and Zai was not TPing in. I don't know if they can get the kill even if he does TP in. Oh, well, they're they're preparing well for the uh, Furion. All their cores are carrying either Cloning Blades or Tangos to escape. Um, it wouldn't be a bad idea for each of the supports to pick up a, a set of Tangos just for that. That's going to be useless then. And it, yeah, the Empire are thinking two steps ahead, or they're just preparing, like you said. And at this point, also, we haven't really talked about Yogi, but he has a Midas. So his farm is going to start going crazy here in just a second. He's already up to 1,000 gold plus his Midas. He'll pick up treads more than likely here from this side shop. Oh, and then he'll just I, keep pressuring. I hate Midas Void. It's like Not a fan? Not a fan. But that being said like usually in pubs when you see a void go midas his chronos are just really bad because he doesn't know how to build the hero um i think mask into maelstrom is like always the best build at least for now um but yoki is really good so i'm sure he'll go those items next and start owning mask of Mattis gives you so much bang for your buck early on in the game the damage just it, it's yeah, ridiculous just, it gives you solo kill potential as well at level mm. like level six or seven or whatever whenever you get the mask you can easily solo kill tinker furion um, maybe not a big mo, but... He's gonna go straight for the mask. He won't pick up the treads yet, so he has the Mask Madness recipe. Interesting. He'll get the Morbid Mask from the side shop, so I guess that's fine. He doesn't have to wait for the courier to send it to him. Arteezy is top lane, and he has his boots of travel. Now it's the the road to the Blink Dagger for Artur. Meanwhile, in the middle lane, Puppy getting caught out. Resolution, Haystrun, Black Hole onto two. They TP in Zai as well. Resolution in trouble with the Haystrun. Does fall anyways. Silent, no mana for Split. Skewer, RP, big turnaround for Secret. He might stick up. No, he will go down. Big Black Hole from Puppy, and they rotate immediately. What a fight coming out from Secret. I actually missed most of that fight. Did they just they just try to dive the tower or what happened? Yeah, they dove the tower and 
Puppy was sitting. All right, hold on. Let me let me draw something. Puppy sitting here. They walk in from here and here and walk right here. Black hole. Everyone TP's in. Jeez, what a, what a disaster. Yeah, seriously. Good positioning by Puppy. Yeah, they, they just dove. They thought maybe with this haste rune they were going to be almost invulnerable, but they were not expecting the black hole. Resolution does pick up his mech and. He is doing well now. He has caught up nicely. We talked about how Arteezy was trouncing him in that mid lane, but and when you have a, a Shadow Fiend, you're never behind for long, it feels like, especially if you have this jungle stack, so... Yeah. If he had mech in that last fight, things maybe could have gone a little bit differently, but they probably still would have both died. Um, having, not having your tier 1 tower mid makes it really hard for you to make plays like that, because your supports are like, even your Void can't pour it in and try and help you. They are too far away. Void was definitely not going to come anytime. He's like, guys, I'm too busy for Listen, I need my Midas. I yeah, have my Mask like, Madness. I'll see you guys in like 10 minutes. <laughs> he's not coming to any fights. They do have Ice Blast now for the Ancient Apparitions, so they have that uh, They have that going for them. Do they have a Blink on Rue? No, not yet. Oh, he's wow. close, though. Oh, he sniped him in base. I didn't even, not, I not, I didn't even see that. Jesus. That's happened. okay. You're not supposed to see stuff like that. Okay, nice. You just, Friend. you click on the fear on later and you go, oh, wow. <laughs> I'll do that from now on. <laughs> Poor fear on, by the way. Getting that staff of wizardry, the ring of the slaves, the treads as well. He, he's okay in farm right now, but that's not going to help him. Uh, the offlane brew doing a lot better than the uh, Zai uh, fear on. So that's, that's, uh, that's a big problem. Silent is close, closing in on that blank dagger. 1500 gold. He has the bounty rune bottle up. He's going to take some bottom farm. They're even going to rotate two heroes bottom. Maybe try to put pressure on this tier one tower. I don't know if uh, Secret Rotate to defend this. They don't. Well, RP is back up. Black Hole's still down, though. Okay, so in this game, we have, like, two different styles kind of clashing. We have Secret Style, where, like, all their heroes kind of get okay farm. And then Empire, where their two supports um, create space for their cores to farm. So we have, like, three really farm cores from Empire. And then we have, like, really farm support heroes from Secret. And it just depends how much work um, Void and SF are able to do um, in the mid game. And then if they're able to get good chronos and get good requiems and good panda splits, then the supports will catch up. And if not, then the supports on Empire will get really far behind and they'll seem almost useless in the late game. Changes on these two heroes, the top and the net worth for the SF and of course the Void. SF and Void still farming pretty well. There's a pause. We expected it. We expected the one pause here. Hopefully it's not anything that's uh, that's a big issue. Uh, yeah, you know what? Actually... We are going to send it over to Pimpmuckle for our first replay of the day. Pimp, good afternoon. How the hell are you, man? I'm I'm pretty good, actually. So uh, just let me fast forward here. I wasn't all that prepared because we have a pause lane. Like, let's face it. We just have some time. So, oh, there it is. All right, found it. So first of all, big, uh, big problem is there. So Silent was just walking around in the jungle. He was trying to scout there for like a minute straight. And he was having the time of his life actually scouting on Puppy. Now, there was a haste through top lane for resolution. And this is what made them actually make the play. So... Well, in the end, I mean, we know what happened, but once again, the Silent, he couldn't get his ult off, not at all. He had the mana for it, he then decided to clap after the black hole, wrong decision, and then he didn't actually use this one for ages, it feels like, and the S4 came in, they used every ultimate in the book, but well, it was so worth it, and they got so much gold and experience from this. It's it's just so nice to have an early black hole going for you, because yes, there is the threat of the black hole, but this really comes into play in the mid game, I feel like, so, well, we should have a pause back to you guys. Thanks, Pimmuckle, and we have absolutely no idea why there's a pause. The Rubik does disconnect from the game. He was probably lagging. Uh, please, Aloha Dance, please come back soon. It was inevitable, I guess. Yeah, it's okay. I'm sure it won't take that long. I'll say that, and then all of a sudden we could be here for a while. Fingers crossed. But right now... How delayed is the stream? I'm, I'm waiting to see the replay Two since minutes. I missed Two it. Two minutes. Two minutes okay, okay. All right, well, let's keep this pause for a little bit longer, and then we're, then we can go. All right, well, that's probably going to happen, because Silent and uh, Rubik both DC. But hopefully they get back soon. What else do we got going on? Any other items coming out? Also important to note, the mag is still very underfarmed, even after that fight. 37 CS is like 40 behind the Brewmaster. That... Fight gives him two assists, which is nice. It gets him up to a bottle and a thousand gold. So he's not far off of his blink dagger. And when you have a blink on a Magnus, that's all you really need, I suppose. I mean, probably need more, but at, at least in the early game, it's something to start with. So S4 is looking for that, but... It's a long road, I think, for this Magnus. Yeah, it's... Um, 
one of the concerns that they had early game, it could have been uh, Tinker in the same situation, which probably would have been worse for Secret. So they just decided to sack the Magnus against the aggro lane and just wait for the Tinker to create space for Magnus to catch up. And he'll start doing that tenfold with the Blink Dagger, which he's 500 gold away from. So he'll he'll be, I think he's TPing top, I'm pretty sure. I, I can't tell where he's actually TPing top. But he'll, he'll continue to create space. And what about, yeah, we talked about, hmm, there's a lot of vision coming out from the Dire Side too. They have a couple of really good Observer Wards. This one's about to go down here. Here are the uh, in the bottom lane. And they also have a really good Ward mid, which is also about to fall. But they're keeping tabs on the enemy side of the map, just making sure they have uh, an idea of what's going on in the jungle at the very least. Thanks, everybody, for joining Dota Pit. And might be waiting for a while. I will say that much. At the very least, there, there is the, the chance we do throw it up to an overlay screen because this pause could take a bit. It could take a while. <laughs> Who knows? Just want to ask him what's going on. Yeah. I'm curious, because they haven't said anything. I, I, I kind of want to know. I think 500. All right, well, that's... There we go. Mm, I don't want to play Devil's Advocate here, but it didn't. He someone got. Well, denounced. that's that'll happen. Oops, I was muted. Um, guys, I don't want to play Devil's Advocate here, but didn't someone of Empire got Dinos like two days ago? Ah, uh, that might have oh. been the case. I I hope it's not, but you know. We we have that 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 word that we're talking about. I'm sure you guys know what it is. Hopefully that that's not the case, but there's always that chance. And with Aloha Dance having 500 ping, it's not looking good at this point. Dota Pit Season 3 on LAN? I mean... Oh, I wish, dude. I'm down, yeah, man. Seriously. That Why is not? amazing. I mean, right now, you set up a VPN in the LAN, so every like remote caster can still join into the local lobby and you just host it locally. It's amazing. Everyone should do well, this. I don't know why no one's doing this. I'm, I'm muted, by the way. I'm just gonna, gonna go red. <laughs> Pimp just had like a two minute conversation with us while I was muted. Good stuff, Pimp. That's, yeah, that's all right, fair. though. Uh, <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm uh, everyone muted, so stream, stream, hello, stream, hi. So, also, I do want to talk about our compendium while we've got a second. Let's sell it a little bit. We have the compendium, the all star vote. Need some uh, extra compendium purchases to help out with that, guys. Definitely check it out. I believe it's $9.99 in the store. And Cyborg Matt um, was, of course, doing a lot of the work at DAC for it, so. Shout out to him and McCormick for taking the time to make the compendium and making it look super nice. And obviously, it's just been a really, really solid season three from Dota Pit to start things off. I mean, we've only been here for about two weeks now. Well, besides the qualifiers, and it's been some really, really good games. I mean, we've had some close, close games, but I mean, games have been amazing so far. Seriously, I'm thinking every time we've seen it. Where should we? Where should the venue be for the Dota Pit season three land? I don't know, man. I mean, you're sponsored by Twitch, right? Let's just put it in San Fran. Big and big. That oh. that cost, though. Mm, I don't know, man. That's true. That might be tough. Why do you think MLG puts their events in places like, let's say, Providence? Columbus? Yeah, that too. Not to not to you know, fire to shots Midwest, at MLG, man? but I'm not saying anything about the Midwest. I'm saying things about Columbus, man. I mean, Columbus is the Midwest. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Columbus is Columbus. I like Indianapolis. I'm not saying anything about Indianapolis, you know. I like there's places in the Midwest I like. Because Columbus is not one of those places. Chicago, yeah, there you go. Boom, easy. Eat us. All right, there we go. That's... Oh, Rip. boy. Told you. Damn, are, we, uh, are we ready for... You know what? Can we... Gonna, we are, we're going to assume this is going to take a while to get back into you guys. Yes, we'll sir. bring you the game back as soon as it gets back underway. For now... We're going to send it over to an overlay, guys. Stick around. We'll be back in just a minute. All right. Welcome back in, ladies and gentlemen. As soon as we send it to the overlay, all on dance is like, oh, just kidding. I'm good to go now. Thanks, guys. We're in. We're now five on five. We're ready to go. And nothing really happened while we were going. We missed maybe a second of action. We, we did it, dude. No 4v5 here. At least not yet. All right, man. Silent picks up his blink dagger coming out from the brewmaster. Top lane's getting pressured up by Arteezy split pushing, ratting it out on his Tinker to a certain extent. He's very close to his blink. Also rotating top, Kuroki puts up an Observer Ward, so being aggressive, they want that ward behind the tower. And obviously, a lot of aggression. Smoke and Deceit gang from Empire. Who are they going to find, if anybody? 
die. He might be the target. They also see Enigma in the nearby vicinity. Silent walks right up with the Invis rune. Zai? Zai? Hello? Oh, and Silent goes with the clap. Blink forward. Zai in trouble. Split about to go. He does get it off. Mech gonna keep Zai alive for only a bit longer. He falls. They're looking for the air pad to cycle on his puppy. Will they get it? Absolutely. S4 in the trees. He's gonna get spotted out. It looks like no. They don't see him. They do? They do see him. S4 trying to juke through. Skewer? Everyone backs up for the side of Empire already. They are out of there. Silent, of course, had his air rather earth brewing And he got it out of dodge. No problem. They, they pick up a kill. They're going to go into Roche. They're going to try to secure Roche on. And with that, RTZ has stopped to try to take this tier one tower. I think they should be able to get Roche. Oh, no. Oh, we had to get a run, right? We did. Now fly. <laughs> Then the first issue in terms of, um, I guess, latency problems we've had in the entirety of Dota Pit, at least that I can remember. Well, they got the kill. They rotate to Roshan. That was the extent of what happened, man. That's that's it. What else do we got going on? I do want to also talk about Twitch uh, for the Dota Pit season pass, which you can check out. Six ninety nine in the Twitch store comes with emotes. Also comes with. Um, giving a portion of the money to the ticket prize pool as well as to the high ground TV guys. Make sure you check it out. And it's a one time purchase, so no monthly payment there either. Boom. Done. What else? That's it, man. We might have to wait a while again. I mean, you Rough. think Europe would be a better venue than US? You think that's cheaper? I have no idea. Eastern think... Europe? We can go there? Uh, do you really. Uh... Let's put Dota Pit and Kev. I mean. You guys really would you come if it was in Eastern Europe? That's the thing. I, I know if some you, people if are. If you were running the event casting, I mean, maybe. Oh hell yeah, let's go! All right, easy. Uh, no, nah, I mean, let's go to like let's go to like Italy or Spain. That sounds nice. Yeah, we're totally gonna have our land at Italy or Spain. That's definitely plausible. What about Portugal? I heard that's that's not that expensive. Portugal? Isn't that like I could be just as expensive as Spain? Maybe I'm wrong. That's probably similar, but. Yeah, I'd imagine so. I was thinking like, okay, so the admins are Croatian. Yeah, it's Croatia's really pretty nice. nice. Yeah, it's super nice in Croatia. It, it I don't know great. how expensive it is. It's not. Um, do you watch Game of Thrones, PPD? Yeah. Okay, so King's Landing, uh, that castle where they film it is in Croatia, I believe. Oh wow! Always like super nice there too. Beautiful. I think Croatia is the place to go, guys. You know, Ivan, make it happen. Obviously, a fever dream, but maybe at some point it becomes a reality. Or where else could we? Where else could we go? Yeah, let's go to Canada. Let's have a land in Canada. Let's do that. That sounds like fun. I'm down to go to Canada. We have a, a bit of an issue, and uh, because we probably are going to wait another at least minute or two. We're going to send it over to the overlay yet again, guys. Again, we do apologize. Nothing we really can do. It's out of our hands. I'm sure you all know this. You've all dealt with DDoS. You've all dealt with the situation in the past. It sucks. Whoever's DDoSing sucks. It's just how it goes. Guys, we'll jump into a break. We'll be back as soon as the game gets started again. Stick around. All right, folks. Welcome back in here to, of course, Team Secret versus Team Empire. Hopefully, we can get the entirety of this game done and underway. Thank you so much for joining us. Of course, they are taking Roshan. The DDoS is done. Resolution will pick up the ages. We've entered back into the game to give you uh, an idea of what's happening. Empire with about a 2,000 net worth lead. Experience lead of about 3,000. We'll see how the game progresses further. Early game, Empire. They came out at the top of the laning phase. Doing dual lane bottom. Getting a lot of farm for Silent on that Brewmaster. Top lane, free farm coming out for the Faces Void. Uh, PPD, I believe you're... How are you, first of all? And I think your mic is muted in TeamSpeak. It's okay, I wasn't talking. Nice. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Right. Fine, just looking forward to see what Seeker brings to the mid-game. I think that's when their lineup really starts to take off, and things are going to get really, really intense here in a second. I think so as well. The Chronospheres, we have yet to see one. Yoki's been waiting a while as a like, guy. I just, all I want to do is kill people with the Chrono. He has his mom. 2,000 gold, so Maelstrom not off uh, too far away. 
He's doing very well top of the net worth. Shadow Fiend as well gets the mech. He'll be going for a Shadow Blade next. Shadow Blade for resolution. What an interesting choice. We usually see Yules. He picks up the mech and the Shadow Blade instead. Gotta gotta catch the rats somehow, right? I guess so. It's, uh, maybe that's why Yoki went Midas. Because he knew that they were going to be able to catch Team Secret for most of the game. What about that catch potential? The rats? Anchor, the it's, just, it's just in there. He is in there. He needs to be careful. Resolution. Spots out of trend. Zai with the nice scouting actually sees behind enemy lines. It's like, I'm out of here. Goodbye. Yoki might have saw him, but he's going to head to the bottom lane instead. Maelstrom very close to being purchased. TP man. What does Arteezy have? He's got his blink now. Maybe looking to jump on to always want to fly decides against it. Oh, what's the Tinker build? Is he going to go Yules or Bloodstone or Dagon? I feel like Yules maybe... I feel like you. Oh, uh, the game actually secret played Hellraisers and Athaninja picked up a Yules on Tinker and he went ham. He did so much work with it. I'm a big fan of Yules on it, in my opinion. I don't know if it goes for that, but yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not like I don't really know how to itemize a Tinker because I don't play it very much. I feel like there's so many options. That's the problem. There's you a build, lot. You could just build so many different ways. You could go for the Bloodstone like you talked about. Ethereal Blade Dagon's coming out, so yeah. Oh, oh, they were looking for that kill. Resolution has a Shadow Blade. It's gonna wear off. No wards. They don't have vision of Resolution yet. Well, free Courier. Rookie. The Courier wise it up on the high ground. It's a 2,000 Courier kill, and they're going to lose Kuroki as well. He got blown up. The Requiem comes out. Uh, what was on that Courier? That's a Blink Dagger for S. That's S4's Blink Dagger. It's dead for three minutes. Meanwhile, top the Brewmaster split. They're going to find Puppy. He's going to black hole. They'll try to bring the Brewlings down. Puppy gets canceled. About to fall. The Boulder Toss going to get the kill. Skewer resolution. Will they RP for this? This guy's kind of thinking about it. He does have that Aegis. RP is going to go, though. Arteezy going to try to blow him up. March the Machines. Resolution trying to man up an S4. RP used for the Aegis. Ice Blast flying through. Arteezy going to TP away. Time walk coming in. Zynots get it up by Yoki. He could have gone for the Chrono. Aloha Dan sees him. Telkinese is about to go. They'll Ooh. find it with an Observer Ward. Plays down. Zai, Chronosphere. What was that, Yoki? Come on, buddy. That was, that's uh, right. They get the kill regardless still. S4 was TPing, and that's why oh. he, he chrono out there. But... I got very confused for a second. Yoki, I didn't see the top edge of that tower. Uh, just take this tier one tower. Arteezy is going to... Chase after Silent, he's got a blink. I don't think he can get the kill. Oh, they do have Puppy's Puppy. Bots again. He's got the bots. He's got a Malifus. Doesn't have the black hole. Silent, no split. This should be a kill. And it is easily done for Arteezy. Yep, there's that global strat coming in. Silent was not expecting Enigma to just appear above him there. IX Mike 88 has invited you to a Dota game. Hmm. Well, oh, I'm sorry, it, Mike. Is it your beast time? Might be. I don't know. I can't join him now. <laughs> you just want to ditch this and go play some Yerbees? <laughs> yeah, let's go. See you later, guys. Oh. It's tempting, I know. Resolution, Shadowblade, Zai. Look at that right click. Resolution going to work. Zai is going to try to sprout and stay alive. The raise, the right click, easily oh, done. Aloha Dance with the counter. He's oh, the that counter was to sick. That was sick. The counter nature's call to break the sprout. I was like, how? why would Zai do that? But that was Aloha Dance's trance. That was awesome. No need for Tangles or Quelling Blade and you just take all the trees and make them into your army. One way to do it. Aloha Dance getting it done. RTZ is going the Yule Scepter. Nice. Nailed it. That's lame though. Rubik, uh, he gets stuck with the normal tree and so he can't have any cosmetics for his trees. That's the biggest problem with Rubik during a lot of his spells. I feel like. Yeah, that face indeed. The oh. cosmetics don't apply. That's the biggest problem. Yeah, I, it really is, honestly. Let's be honest here. Ads. Ice Frog, please. Dagon done for Nature's Prophet. So they get the Dagon Builder on another hero other than Arteezy, who did go for Yules, like I talked about. He's oh, uh, got it in a couple gold. Dagon Furion. Alright. Are you a fan of this? Uh, I'm not the biggest fan, but it's definitely a Zai thing to do, and I'm sure he'll own with it. That's just how he plays. That's how he plays Dota, I suppose. Definitely is. Yoki. Top lane. They'll farm up. They're going to try to find RTC TP away. What else is going on? Puppies nearby. I always want to fly. Ah, uh, you might be dead, buddy. Malthus is going to go Nature's Wrap. Cold Feet Ice Blast off the mark. No, it's going to hit Puppy, I think, but it's not going to be nearly enough damage. And they get the kill. Yep, so the global kind of strats are coming into play for Secret. Um, 
Vo when Void gets ready to fight, that's going to be the scariest thing for Secret. But for now, they're totally fine just doing this. They're collecting free kills all throughout the map and farming effectively. He's fine. Yoki was getting engaged on the top lane, but... So when do you think uh, Empire start to f start to really try to fight at this point? Because they already have the Maelstrom on the, the Faces Void. Do you wait for another item or, or what? Um, right now they're a little squishy. I would. Oh, they even black hole for him. That is going to be the kill. Zai comes in and takes it with Dagon. All right, that is the kill. Nice play. Yeah, like I said, like right now they're a little squishy. Um, they probably need to wait for like another Aegis or Resolution Scotty or Void's BKB or something. Too much to fight into. Dagon can still blow heroes up. But while that's happening, while they're waiting to fight, Secret are putting a lot of pressure all across the map because they have this global strategy. They have boots of travel on Tinker. They have boots of travel on the Enigma. They have Zai TPing in. The global strat is real. And he could dig on people like crazy. He's going to have his digging too if he wants it. Oh, they have uh, a Midas on AA. So he's not going to be getting too far behind at all in farm. Huge. The Ice Blast. The level is obviously more importantly getting that Aegon Scepter, which... He is going to get caught out. Resolution finding him. The Shadow Blade coming into effect. Fuels up. Laser, but the skewer back resolution takes the kill, but dies in the end. Is that worth it? Because I yeah, think that's worth getting a lot. That was a good trade for um, Secret there. It's a level 16 Shadow Fiend for a level 12 Tinker. That timer's so long. He's pretty farmed as well. He had two ultimate orbs, which I believe he bought before he died, hopefully. Yeah, he committed entirely for that kill. He wasn't like. He, he, cause he had the Shadow Blade to get out, but then he needed to use that second raise cause Arteezy used himself. So, a lot of commitment, but at that point, like, you just kinda have to go all in, I think. So maybe dies even if he does Shadow Blade away. Do they have detection? No, actually they don't. They could get a gem at some point in the future for Secret, and I imagine they will go for it. Uh, Blink on Rubik. That's done now, he's farming really well. He's been sitting oh, in this jungle farming with the Furion Treants for a long time. Yeah, that's it's just that's the benefit. We talked about clearing the trees, but if you can farm up a Blink Dagger using Treants, that's pretty impressive for Rubik. So he, he gets that Blink Dagger, he's got 200 gold in the bank. It's like, hey, he got that, I think, at 21, 22 minutes or something. That's a huge pickup coming out for the Rubik. Blink initiation is going to be there. He has some spells to steal. Black Hole RP. Pretty good game for Aloha Dance. All things, if he can survive, that is, in these fights. Yep, so... The biggest thing for Empire now is like they can't really go for these like little solo pickoffs unless it's on Tinker or Enigma, because. Um, oh, here oh we go. Yoki spots him out. They get the kill. They have that high ground of Zipperward on the cliff to see Arteezy in the trees. They get oh, yeah. an easy pickoff. Yeah, you can barely see it, but there it is. What a ward. Yeah. So th these wards are going to be huge against the Tinker. Like these are the ones that are going to get them kills. I feel like you have to go for those those wards just to be able to catch him. Otherwise, he's going to take over this game and continue to be a nuisance. But they get the ward up. Uh, no other wards on the side of the map, though. He's really not farming that fast on the Tinker. Like, he's, I mean, he's farming, but it's nowhere near as fast as Void and SF. And that's why these heroes are, like, so strong. And this Midas on Void is, I think it's working out. He got an Aghanims, dude. He, he, I don't, he just picked that up. Yeah, Aghanims is a core item for all those Void players out there that don't get it. It's really? It's a necessity. The cooldown nerf um, was, is too long. So with the new Scepter, the cooldown is much shorter. It makes him really good. RP Black Hole again, just like Clockwork. They use their two abilities to secure a kill. And even Zai does the same thing last time as he Dagons to get the kill. <laughs> Gotta upgrade that Dagon. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, he's holding on to that money, though. He's got 2.8k. You know, he could go Ethereal Blade. If he goes Ethereal Blade, I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> if we had mod packs here, I'd be like, yo, what's the stats on Dagon Ethereal Blade? Nature's Prophet, I'm sure it's literally nothing, but... Uh, I feel like maybe there's been a couple, like, sexy Bambo games where he's probably gone that <laughs> item build as well. That is, that is kind of a Bambo play, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I was talking. I wanted to go back to that axe purchase for Yoki. We were. I was talking with a couple of people. I don't know if it was Trial for FRL or whoever. They said that Aghanim Scepter on a one position void is maybe not the best. Maybe in the off lane. I don't know who said this to me, but you you say that is core even in the one position for faceless voids because of the change huh. to Chronosphere. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I'm not. I mean, I'm not 100 because we usually do off lane void for a universe, and hmm. it's more of the utility void than a one position void. But he kind of functions the same in like every role. He's still like this hard-hitting core with a giant chronosphere. True. 
And a 60 second cooldown is really, really nice. Pretty good. That's pretty good. 60 second cooldown. He's going to set the trees. He's actually waiting for Arteezy to TP up here. I don't know if Arteezy makes the same mistake. They know okay, look, that there is at, a ward up a, here. Look at Aloha Dance. He was sitting he was sitting outside the pit, like just sitting in ward vision, and then hoping like Tinker will just go top. going to do it again. He's baiting. Do, do secret. Oh, there you go. The Chronosphere get... came up because Yoki already used it on his Zai who TP'd up. Maybe not the target he was looking for. Resolution gets the Aegis. They get the, of course, Roshan. S4 doesn't have RP. Has Blink on cooldown. Yoki on the run. His team coming to his rescue. At Secret have to break this chase off. And they will do just that. They cannot fight into this line of, of Empire. Especially after getting that Aegis. So they do it. They bait. They head top. Zai goes down. Maybe not the target they're looking for. But still a big kill for Yoki in the end. Resolution Scotty is on his way. Yep. There it is on the courier. He's got a Scotty and an Aegis now. So... It's going to be a tough one to bring down. So we, they have that Scotty. They have the Aghanim Scepter on the Void as well. Is this the time that maybe you go for Tier 2 Towers? You fight a bit more heavily here for Empire? Or do you still wait for another item? Uh, the thing is, it's super hard to push into them. Because they have Tinker March, Fury and all, Magnus um, with the Shockwaves, and also the threat of RP and Black Hole. So it's really hard to just go like say, hey, let's go force a 5-on-5. Five five. That, that's going to be tough to do. Yeah. Um, what they can do is just continue to get pickoffs and... Uh, try and just out farm and out greet their opponents and when they get a couple picks then they can start pushing towers Yes If they can find anybody secret are still playing pretty far up. They are playing in their own jungle They had RTZ in the bottom lane. Maybe they get a ward here on the bottom cliff area I think can you ward down? Yep. Sure you can you could ward over here this general area. Don't I ask imagine. me dude. I I am not a, like oh, I am a support player <laughs> Uh, I actually don't know. I don't really know those ward spots very well. I know there's one on the, uh, over here. Yes, and I think yeah. There's one up here, and then there's one here, obviously. I think there's one... I think it's over here, for the other side. Yeah, yeah there's one over or maybe here, it's, I, I don't know. There's, it's somewhere over here. I don't... There's definitely one down here. Those, those wards are so huge. People are like, you shouldn't be able to put wards there, but how else would you deal with the Tinker? Tinker is coming back into the meta. I might have to go practice that. Yeah, actually, I, I, I'm not sure where what all the possibilities are for those awards. They, they, I think there should be a lot that you can get away with. We'll see, though. Silent's going to have a haste and He's going to head bottom. Secret Arteezy is... Resolution is, hunting. They're looking. He are... Got to get the Requiem top is, lane. Wait, the Ray Zai is, just dies. Puppy coming Zai into the Night Pulse. He is going the E-Blade, oh dear. Black Hole onto Resolution, Black he hole. has Aegis though. He's just trying to hold him in place long enough. They can't even get the kill, he's gonna Shadow Blade away. His Puppy gem does have a gem, the Skewer's gonna go. They get the Shockwave, they get the Aegis. Aloha Dance is nearby, Blink's, Blink uh, Telekinesis, RP's gonna go. They can't Blink it though because of the March of Machines. Resolution, Time Walk, Chronosphere on to two. Silent jumps in, Requiem gonna go again. Kuroki, Arteezy, both gonna fall. TP out for Puppy, he will make it away. As will S4. That is not worth it just for the ages to lose three heroes in the process. And Empire, those were the picks they're looking for. They'll probably head top and take this tier two tower. Yep, a little bit of overextension by Secret there, trying to force onto the SF, who is super tanky, and he also has an Aegis. So, a little bit of a misplay there. Um, nice chrono by Yoki, and Rubik got RP there. He still has it for quite a while. That is, oh, that's scary. The Blink RP, again, he has to deal with the March, but. Yeah, he could have got it there, but he had to walk straight to the March, which yeah. is unfortunate. That was a really well-placed March, because it was right, like, they were on the edge of it on the other side. They just couldn't jump in, so they still win the fight, though, regardless. I mean, it could have been so much worse had that Blink been available, though. It doesn't matter. They take the fight. They have the top three net worth. Silent is up there. He is going for a BKB. And they'll try to take down this 2-2 tower. It is, uh, it's a slow progressing tower at this point. Zai's yeah, but there's, rotate it up. there's no RP, there's no black hole, so they don't they don't feel like too scared to push these towers. They have 30 and seconds before that. Chronosphere is already up, up again because of oh, the 60 second cooldown Ags Chronosphere. Too good. Brokey dead. Oh, they even used the Chrono for him. Ice Blast is going to seal Why not? Yeah, it's just short enough for them to say, let's go, it doesn't matter. And they'll push into the tier 2 tower. Bottom lane, Resolution was hunting, but he might be in trouble. Puppy did save that gem. He didn't die. He DP'd out, and he knew that was probably the biggest, most important thing for him, at least in that fight. Aloha Dance has Blink in four. Blink away from S4, Resolution. Puppy is trying to man fight. Yoki's going to come in. The bash comes. Puppy is like, I am dead. See you later. Oh, man. Throw out your PPD dead emotes. 
Yep, just one of those games. That was kind of weird, Puppy going back in like that. It was some miscommunication. As for it backed up, Puppy's like, no, well, let's fight. It's it's kind of like they... I mean, they can't fight, though, because they have they have Tinker, they have Furion, and they have Magnus, who is almost there. So it was like kind of unsure if they could fight or not. Hmm. Like, they could have maybe turned it if um, S4 went in with like RP on both of Void and SF, but then it's like, oh, can we really kill them? Um, are we going to lose the game right here if we try this? Or And I'm not really sure how it would have played out, but I think Puppy was thinking... Um, that there's a possibility they could take that fight. Like mid silent looking for S4, can't find it, clap only onto the creeps. Nice uh quick trigger fingers coming out from S4. Shockwave, gotta jump on him. Silent's gonna get his split off though. He doesn't even have his BKB RP oh. coming in from Aloha Dance. We'll find S4. He might have to RP. He will. Yoki jumping in. Arteezy up into the high ground. Yule Scepter. Ice Blast is going to connect. S4 is going to shatter. Meanwhile, Kuroki getting caught out. Yoki going to work. Fire Blast. Boulder Toss coming in from the Brewlings. Two dead. Top lane. Aloha Dance are always want to fly going to Zayas. He's split pushing. The 2-2 tower mid should fall now as Resolution is going butterfly and he's very close. Top lane is the stolen man fight. Zai, cold feet going in. Zai might die to always want to fly. He'll get the tower, but they'll get the kill. Laser. Oh, laser. oh the blur chance, the miss chance. Always want to fly, not going to be able to get the kill. Ice blast misses. Zai dodges it. <laughs> Arteezy coming to the rescue. Skewer from the Holy Rubik shit. and the fade bolt. Aloha dances. How are Damn. you? Steals laser. Gets the double kill. Wow, what a fight. Aloha dance. What a goddamn player. That was cool. That was sick. Rubik's so fun to watch in the right hands. And then Resolution promptly requiems somebody bottom lane. That's Puppy going down. And all five were dead for a moment in time. On the side of Secret and Resolution and Empire, they are increasing their lead tenfold. They are up to a 15, almost 20,000 net lead for Empire up against Secret. And a 25,000 experience lead. Dear Lord, mid lane, there is going to be a Chronosphere. Kuroki falls to Yoki's Chronosphere. They're getting pickoffs everywhere on the map. Top, bottom, middle, wherever. There's nowhere safe for Secret at this point. Yoki. He's the future, man. He's so good. That's amazing. Same with Aloha Dance. Like both of those two players are like pretty new to the scene, and they're both just like so so good, like individually, like with their like um, mechanical skill. Oh, for Empire, man. They like never make the misplays. Like they maybe they still have a couple things to figure out, like in terms of like the competitive scene. But they just uh, they they just play so well. When you watch them, it's amazing. They've gotten a lot better. Every time I watch them, I've always been impressed with just all of their play coming up from pretty much Empire. Resolution's always been good. Silence always been good. Yeah, but those and guys these have new been players. around forever, though. Like, these are, this is fresh blood. Exactly. It's nice to see, like, new faces. We need more of it in Dota. Coming out. Silent now has a blink as his BKB. Maybe goes for Assault Kuros next. And with that item, I don't know what you do if you are a secret. Because you're getting caught already. And with an Assault Kuros, with all of everything that Empire have... I mean, Secret are still tr struggling to find farm. S4 has been stuck at Blink BKB. I, he might have just got that BKB too. It, it just feels like they can't find farm. Zai does get home. Rubik's got a fairy on alt now. That's fun. Nowhere he's safe. Nowhere. Yoki time walks. He's not going to find Arteezy. They, they lost that ward up into the uh, top area of the map, so Arteezy is a bit safer than he once was. And that's something. I guess Arteezy could just stall this game out as long as possible if he can stay alive, and that's the, the, the tough thing. But, I mean, Yoki's going to have a freaking refresh orb here in a moment. That's ridiculous. Yes, it is nice. What do you do for your secret to get back into this game, man? Like, they're so far behind. They are so far behind in net worth and in everything in general. They just gotta get some nice um, ultimates down. Like, multi-hero black holes, multi-hero... He's dead. Big wreck for me. Wreck for me right next to him. Ice Blast. Puppy pops up among Midnight Pulse. He's gonna get clapped up. Puppy is going to fall. He'll shatter. Yoki gets the double kill. He's godlike, by the way. No buyback for Magnus. Hopefully that's not a glitch. It isn't. He doesn't actually have buyback. Looks like Valve is helping us out today. Uh, it's, it's a tough game for Secret. I think they're maybe a little bit too far behind um, now to make a comeback. But I've seen crazier things. That's true. But against a, a Faces Void, against a Farm Shadow Fiend, even against a Brewmaster, I'm not sure what they can do in this game. RTZ's back. He'll march up and uh, 
There is a refresh you are, by the way, Frio. He has two Ags to, or two uh, Chronospheres to work with. This tier three tower about to fall. Dyrus Courier is gonna fall. Looks like it was sniped up by Thai. I think it was headed towards the shop. Yeah. It was actually just heading down mid for whatever reason. Thai will TP away. The tier three tower mid will fall. And Empire will back up happy with what they've accomplished. And it is that Assault Kuros for the Brewmaster. He actually has all of it. I th uh, no, he sold it. Bought it again. He, he he's a thousand away. Yeah. Hope they're gonna do a Roshan here. Probably get Aegis on... I don't know. Aegis on Panda? Aegis on Rubik? I, their, I'm, I'm a fan of Aegis slotted. on Rubik. Actually, Rubik's nowhere near, nowhere near there. Maybe Resolution dropped something. Mormon Mask? Dropped his mech. Oh, okay. That's okay. That's fair. That's yeah, fair. mech doesn't do too much now. You can sell it cheese. too. You almost have his Satanic. Yeah, so he uh, he already has his Butterfly, which I didn't even know he completed, but his Satanic is a Reaper away from completion. That's 2,000 gold right at this point. Well, 2,200. Up in the tree line bottom. Their Courier's dead, though, so you can't send it to True. pick it up. Arteezy walks right by, always want to fly, always want to fly, we'll try to TP, he'll get Yules up. Kuroki's nearby to help out, always want to fly, it's a nice pick. Down for 60 seconds. Not the biggest pick in the world, but it's something. Now the Ethereal Blade finally done for Zai, who had a really hot start, but has since slowed down, but maybe this will help out his team. Uh, yeah, I mean, you might be able to use it defensively to save someone who's in Chrono, but yes. they might just die to SF Alt or A Blast or something. There's so much to deal with. Not just the Chronosphere either, that's the crazy thing. Not just the right click. Empire have this game in the palm of their hands. And they finish the bag. Thing. 30. I don't know, that's the question. I mean, it's in the palm of their hands, but it's not in the bag yet. They've yet to put it in the bag. It's a 30,000 net worth lead, which is a lot, but they haven't taken racks yet. That is true. High grinding against Tinker Magnus has always been difficult. I'm surprised Secret are playing so ballsy, though. If they lose a they hero or two... They have to. They're too far behind to play safe. They have to take risks and hope that Empire doesn't punish them. They might punish S4 right now. He actually sees them. He scouts them out. They do have some Radiant Observer Wards. Die top lane. He's going to throw a blade and try to get out. Cold Feet. Mm, it's the Chronosphere. Zai will fall. No buyback. He is dead. Got blown Holy up. RTZ TP's away. <laughs> yeah, that, that Requiem and that Chronosphere. That was something else. Oh, look, Puppy's got a blink. Four. Ah, Puppy going blink. Something you don't see too often. He usually, I guess when he's in the lead, he goes to the Bloodstone. He already has the BKB. I think, like, the stat is, like, he picks up blink dagger, like, maybe 30% of his games. It's probably a better item when you're ahead. You kind of just push, and then if you die, you kill your team. Also, like, when you're really behind, maybe, um, maybe he knows that he just needs, like, a, an amazing black hole to win the game. Uh, they need a lot of big ultimates. RP, black hole, like you talked about. Or rather, Arteezy getting all of his abilities off. Does he have anything else besides his Yules? He's going for a, a Shiva's Guard, I think. He already has his Bloodstone. Didn't go for like a Scythe or anything. Not really any team fighting item. Resolution has the Aegis, so Shadow Blade away. Blink score him back. Resolution in some trouble. No mech. He already popped it down. He's going to lose his Aegis. Fade Bolt will go. They have RP. S4 looking to blink in. Silent ready to jump as well, making sure his team lives. Silent cancels his animation for his split. Good kill on Resolution. Now you've got to be a bit safer. Blink. RP onto two was stolen, I believe, by Aloha Dance. Chronosphere, Puppy trying to get involved. Split does get off. S4 getting right click. Puppy's gonna fall. No buyback. Double oh. Chronosphere from Yoki. Makes a big play. Zai is gonna go down as well. They'll lose three. None with buyback, by the way. Such a huge play, and good game is called. They know they've been beaten, and Yoki with that solid play coming through. Aloha Dance as well. They'll find RTZ. A victory kill coming through. Game one goes to Empire. Yep, that was a good try by Secret there at the end, though. It was a nice RP, um, and they killed the SF uh, as Aegis with, without losing anything. But too much farm on Yoki for them to deal with. That was quite the game, man. Game one in the books. Really solid play from Empire. 700 GPM for Yoki. Any closing thoughts, PBD, before we get into game number two? Um, Let's just hope we have less pauses in game two. Please, go to yep. God's. Have a good game of Dota coming out soon. Guys, thank you so much for joining us on Dota Pit. We'll have a quick break to get into game number two again. Shout out to everybody for joining us. Of course, Pimp Muck, our production manager, myself. You can catch me at Dota 2 Of course, PPD at PPD Dota on Twitter. 
Uh, what else? What else? What else? Now? Make sure you guys do check out the Gamers Book Steam page. They do have lots of giveaways going on. I highly recommend it. Shout out to our sponsors. We'll be back with game number two in just a second. Stick around, everybody.